Ugh, can we talk later? I'm fighting a troll army with A-Rock. I've just got a new idea for a drawing, so we gotta talk quickly. Mama! I'm so glad you're back! I... I missed you. Really? Come on, Mama. You can't keep beating me at this every time. You know, I wish we weren't so used to it. Mama, I was wondering. You go on adventures with Pa so much, but why can't I go with you? You train Pa, too? He's getting old. I don't think he'll be good at jumping and rolling over for treats like Aira. I just want to be a part of your stories with you. Uh, are you sure? Even more than the dragons? Or the saving the world? Or meeting a Daedra? Even meeting Pa? Your favorite is me? You aren't just saying that? Oh, well, thanks, Mama. You're my favorite, too. Always. Hey, Mama. Oh, wow. I was hoping you would. This is so cool. Now Pa will be jealous because he didn't get anything. <laughs> if he sounds really grumpy today, don't make the same mistake I did. He just has a sore throat. I thought he was going all, Roar, Julian, go be slaughtered. But really, he was just saying, Oh, Julian, give me some water. <laughs> Have you seen Brinjolf lately? It is so cool that my mama is the best thief in Skyrim. Don't worry, I'll never tell. Oh yeah! Today, I figured out how to cheat with an ace card and... Oops! Uh, Pa didn't want me to tell you about that. <laughs> it's just a card game. And uh, we don't bet with money, we use, uh, sweet rolls. You can be sure no one will ever cheat you while me and Pa are there. I love you, Mama. Just wanted to make you remember that. Ladyship, I heard a bang. Are you all... Julian? What are you doing in here? Making Mama a new ring. It's got amber in it. The lizard man said it was like my eyes, so she'll remember me when she goes away. You mean, Medesi? It doesn't exactly do things for free. How'd you get it? <sighs> it's a surprise, Pa. It's supposed to be secret. I've been saving the pelts from our hunts. Medesi liked them. That's where they went. Remind me that I owe your mother an apology. You know, this still doesn't explain the explosion, Julian. I was trying to make it really special. You're always complaining about carrying Mama's stuff, so I thought it'd help if she could carry more. But it went wrong and got really heavy. It fell off and knocked something else that hit a gem, and they went boom. Uh... Ignoring what went boom for a moment, how do you even know how to use the Enchanter? The books say how. I've been practicing on the pelts, but it still isn't working. They're also heavy. So you sold Medesi unnaturally heavy rabbit pelts? <laughs> no wonder he thought they were valuable. Wait, how come your mother gets a ring and not your pa? She's got plenty of those from me already. That would be silly. We have the same eyes, pa. All you have to do to remember me is look in a mirror. Uh, all right, come on. We can fix 
likes this. I know nothing about magic, but if a little boy can learn how to mess it up from a book, so can his dad. But wait, what if we just make it worse? And I didn't have enough pelt to get two rings. Trust me, she'll love it. And look on the bright side. If it's too heavy for her to move, then she'll never leave us again. Besides, giving her a gift is the only thing that's gonna stop your mom from shouting me to oblivion when she finds we used up all of her soul gems. Yes? Did you want me for something? It's been like, um, stew. My day has been like stew. Warm, familiar, and a bit boring. It's the ones in the warm leather armor and the people fighting on their own who are the real heroes, right? Like you and Pa, and Brinjal. Oh, I think I stayed up with Aero too long last night. on your next adventure. You know, in that outfit you make a man want to do other... things. <laughs> Luckily, you're all mine. Don't get me wrong, I love the little tyke, but I miss our baby boy. If he cried back then, we just had to feed him or burp him or rock him to sleep. Now I have to explain why the village girl won't talk to him because she has a crush on him. Not like you and me at all, huh? <laughs> Without me? What, am I getting too old for you now? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't worry. We'll be right where you left us. If not, check the woods. And the inn. If you take too long, maybe Helga's bunkhouse. Just playing with you, love, I swear. What was that thing you do with absorbing shouts just by looking at them? Yeah, that's what your son does with books. I'll be damned if any son of mine gets lost in old tomes, though. Just you watch. He'll be smart and be able to win every brawl. We'd be damned if we didn't have A-Rush. She's the only one who can keep up with him. Conrad's age is getting to him. He's an old dog now. Not that I blame him. Hmm. I'd be in bed holding you all day if I could. In many different positions, of course. I was thinking about that, but it made me realize he's still just a kid. Let's keep it that way for as long as we can. I mean, I still wake up in the morning sometimes, dreading changing time. It's all going so fast, love. Let him be our little boy a while longer.
Look! Never should have come. <laughs> You know, in that outfit, you make a man want to do other... things. <laughs> really well. Couldn't be prouder. Ah, uh, look, maybe we should be a little bit more certain that he's not around the next time. Let's just say, I don't know how much longer he'll believe that Ira found a man-wolf to make her happy. Oh, sure. Leave the most important men in your life to the tedious day-to-day -day lives of upstanding citizens while you have fun. How to chat up all the women and hold out for the hero of the world, naturally. <laughs> nah, just the usual. He knows the plants that heal in the wild, how to shoot a bow and use a dagger. Knows not to feed a wolf a sweet roll, and that we love him. <laughs> <laughs> 
always. Eerily similar. You know, if I wasn't his father, I'd swear he was training them to act all hungry around us and take the treats we give them to him, so... That's exactly what he's doing, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'll talk to him. But you have to admit, our kid's pretty smart. <laughs> uh, sorry, talk, gone. Knowing Julian, he'll make up his own job. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I don't hope he'll be a ranger, but I don't know. He has a thing for surprising us. But if he ever wants to join one of the guilds, his father will be having words with the guildmaster. that lazy steward of mine. Verona? Oh, no, wait, she's dead. Drovers! You didn't have to speak a word. I could sense it the moment you came in. You've proven your worth, and I'm as good as my word. Take this staff from my personal collection. I think you'll find it useful. I might have a few staffs, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Finally, I can get back to work. Captain Gyalin does... with they were too long last night. Welcome home, Mama! Oh, whoa, that's a lot of blood. Uh, are you hurt? Right. I love you, Mama, but you really are the worst liar I've ever met. Pa's really good at making my hurts better. I'll, I'll go and get him.
Sure you can, but me and Pa can help you too. We're a family, right? Here, maybe this will help you. Anytime, Mama. Have you seen Brinjolf lately? It is so cool that my mama is the best thief in Skyrim. Don't worry, I'll never tell. For me or for Aira? Because she sometimes eats them. <laughs> this is so cool! Now Pa will be jealous because he didn't get anything. <laughs> You know, in that outfit, you make a man want to do other... things. <laughs> Not a dragonborn, thank the gods. There's no way I could take two of you. A wife who can shot me to pieces for not doing the dishes, I can take. But a teenage boy who can stop time, turn invisible, shout me across the hold, and breathe fire? I'm gonna have nightmares now, thanks. Sure, but if you come back to find that your home's been turned into a hunting guild, it's all his idea. I caught him trying to shout Carnweir out of the way because he's getting slow in his old age. I'll leave the explaining to you. I don't think his relieved old man should be the one to tell him that dragon souls aren't inherited. loves all of the stories about the dragons. I want to be there when you have to tell him that we only have those bones because you killed them. Me and the innkeeper taking bets on how awkward it'll be. We'll be talking about this moment at family dinners for life. As thick as thieves, naturally. Aira and Julian might as well be littermates. He is my son, after all. Guess I'd be more concerned if they didn't get along. Especially with how much he clambered all over him as a baby. Luckily, I don't think Carnware is holding any grudges over how much his tail got pulled. Have any new stories? I am so glad he's my pa! I mean, I was telling the other kids about how he took me hunting up a mountain, and their paws never do that. You and Pa saved my life, because if I had any other mama or Pa, I'd die of boredom. Yes? Well, the other day I saw Pa trying to take a bath, which is fine, but... <laughs> <laughs> Era and Karnweir decided they wanted a bath, too. So we went from like a stray grrrr face to... Oh! <laughs> it was so funny. 